Between the mountains of southeastern California, there is a desert basin that sinks to 282 feet below sea level. It is the lowest, hottest, and driest place in North America, earning it the name Death Valley. To most, Death Valley appears to be a place where life is not welcome, where sand and rock have taken the place of flora and fauna. The average annual rainfall is less than two inches. When water does come, it's typically in the form of tempestuous winter storms. Some years, when certain conditions of abundant rainfall and quickly warming temperatures coincide, the landscape transforms into a patchwork of surprisingly verdant spring flora, and wildflowers carpet the valley floor with color. These ephemeral wildflowers have adapted to the harsh conditions. Hairy coverings on branches and leaves to conserve moisture or growing close to the ground to combat severe winds. In a patch of sand verbena, swarms of red velvet mites scuttle across every flower head. These arthropods stimulate decomposition in the soil by feeding on insects that eat fungi and bacteria. Bees and other pollinators work quickly, fertilizing shrubs and wildflowers, whose seeds could lay dormant for years to come. The sphinx moth caterpillar consumes flowers and leaves at an incredible speed, devouring entire plants in mere minutes. When fully grown to adult moths, they too will pollinate the flowers. This transformation from Death Valley to the Valley of Life is particularly alluring, a sense of adventure and discovery that draws you close, observing the intricate and fleeting mysteries of nature. The caltha leaf and notch leaf phacelia have a sticky sap that can cause irritating dermatitis for some people, not unlike poison oak. Brittle bush is one of the more striking shrubs in Death Valley, with its silvery white leaves, brittle stalks, and bright yellow sunflowers during bloom. Desert gold is the most common sunflower in the southwest deserts. Six inches to two feet in height, its fragrant blossom attracts insects of all types. The Desert Five Spot is a fragile beauty, with a distinctive crimson spot concealed at the base of each petal. The Gravel Ghost. As its name implies, this pale flower is found in gravelly washes. The Desert Holly Saltbush has distinctive pale leaves and is tolerant of alkali soils on the valley floor. How does this delicate life survive amidst the gravel and sandy soil of Death Valley? It's one of nature's more beautiful and evocative mysteries. In only a matter of weeks, the flowers are gone, and Death Valley once again appears to reflect its forbidding name. <laughs>